गुड मॉर्निंग डियर चिल्ड्रन दिस इज मानिकशा टूडे वी शाल डिस्कस अबाउट द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द राइज ऑफ नेशनलिज्म इन्स यूरोपियन कंट्री सो डियर चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी शाल टॉक इन डिटेल्स हाउ द नेशनलिज्म मोमेंट्स विच वॉज अमार्ज इन यूरोपियन कंट्री because the european country it was been divided into two parts the eastern europe as well as the western europe and in all these european countries we see these different rulers who were having autonomous territories they were the autonomous ruler who were ruling different parts of these european countries so during that time we see we understand that it was the european countries which was divided into several parts here let us see that this germany the italy the switzerland all these countries were divided into small parts it was been divided into small kingdoms regions as well as the divisions of political unity so here we see that by the medieval centuries the rulers they were having autonomous territories in all european countries we see the habsburg empire all these rulers all these empire who are ruling all these small territories in european countries so dear children seems these rulers are ruling independently in all these territories they are adopting the arbitrary rule here so here the rulers since they are coming from dynastic successions their focus is not about the support of the peoples the rulers who are ruling the peoples in a very repressive ways they are not giving or not showing favor to the peoples they are ruling the society in their own way of systems they are not giving more priorities to the peoples the peoples are uh, given more suffering here there is no equality there is no uh, political equality in the society so this is how the society was ruled for a long period of times in all this european country so dear children as we see we understand that the peoples were also not having a common identity common culture common languages because we see in all this european countries different kind of peoples were living in the societies there was no binding of culture there was no binding of identity there is no binding of any kind of common elements which will bind the peoples to start the nationalism movements so what really made them to start the nationalism movements in european country as we see we understand that all these rulers the emperor they are controlling the societies in their own ways we see we understand that there is no common things which will bind the peoples together to start the nationalism movements in european country just like india we see that in india we have a diversity of culture so like that in european countries also we see the diversity of culture there is different kind of cultures different kind of peoples different kind of uh, languages was spoken in different parts of european countries so what really makes them to bind together to start the nationalism movements in european country so what are the factors so we see we understand that already i have told you that during the time of monarchy rulers the rulers were not talking or they are not at all supportive towards the peoples here they are not ruling the society in favor of the peoples they are ruling the peoples in a very repressive ways 
So dear children, here we understand that during the time of monarchy, they have their own system of ruling. They used to rule the society in such a way which will benefit the rulers here. So dear children, what really bind them together to start the nationalism movements in European country? Because we have been talking that how in spite of having different culture, different languages, different kind of things in European society, how the nationalism movements is started in European country is a very difficult thing. But we see there are certain factors uh, which we are going to talk. And those factors is responsible for the, uh, for the emerging of nationalism movements in European country. So here, we know that the rulers, they were ruling the peoples in a repressive ways. They were not at all talking about the favor of the peoples, no equality, no rights which was prevalent in the societies. Due to these repressive measures, the peoples were living in the societies, they were really fed up with the systems of governance which was made by the ruler here. So dear children, here we see that the rulers were adopting the repressive ways. Their system of governance is not at all in favor of the peoples. And during that time, we see the rising of the new middle classes with the development of technology, with the development of uh, industries, the new middle classes who went to industries, work hard, develop their status, develop their identity, develop their uh, respect in the society and when they develop their cultures in the society, they begin to culture or uh, they begin to, sorry, they begin to question the supermacy of these aristocracy peoples in the society. So here, we see, we understand that the spread of the ideas of liberalism also, because during those times, different kind of ideologies, different kind of thoughts which was prevalent in the societies and one among them is liberalism. The liberal peoples were coming with different ideas to motivate the peoples. Their ideas is to motivate the peoples to understand about freedom. The liberal groups, they were talking about freedom because liberalism means it is freedom. They are talking about freedom of the society. They are talking about equality. They are talking about equal major systems in the society. So all these liberal ideas which motivates the peoples to start the nationalism movements in European countries. Because different peoples, they were coming with different ideas. So it was a, it was a kind of motivation towards the peoples. Peoples were motivated, peoples were inspired through different ideas and one among them is liberal, liberal ideas which motivated the peoples to start the nationalism movements in European country. So apart from that dear children, we see the new spirit of conservatism because as soon as we see the rising of directory rules the uh, rising of Napoleon, there was a treaty at Vienna and the spirit of new conservatism, they were trying to restore the power of the monarchy. And when they were trying to restore the power of the monarchy, that made these revolutionaries to start the nationalism movements in European countries. And also we see the rise of the revolutionary groups. So the rise of the revolutionary groups, they were continuously motivating the peoples, motivating the peoples, they were inspiring the peoples, they were talking about social rights, they were talking about equality in the societies, they were talking about uh, their rights in the societies, all these things which motivates them which motivates them to start these nationalism movements in European country. So dear children, the repressive ways of the rulers, these rising of the new middle classes, the rising of the revolutionary groups, 
the directory rules ruler, uh, rules of the rulers because the people during that time when they develop their status develop their identity they begin to think that they must be given respect in the society they begin to think that their culture should be given respect they must be given equality in the society so all this factor which made them to think to start the nationalism movements in european society so dear children here we are trying to understand that how the nationalism movements is initiated in european countries because the factors was very different we do not see the common culture common languages but what made them to start the nationalism movements in european country so all these factors the regressive ways of ruling the peoples by the ruler the rising of the new middle classes the conservatisms were continuously restoring the powers of the monarchy the rising of the revolutionary groups as well as the direct rules which was made by the rulers that made peoples to start the nationalism movements in european country because here the peoples are thinking in a very different ways they are thinking that once they are developing their status their identity their their status in the society they are thinking in a different way they are thinking that they should be given equal rights in the society they are thinking that they need to be having a different kind of ruling systems and those system is the powers will be resting among the peoples so they are thinking in a very different way they are thinking that we are going to be the rulers of the society we are going to shape the destiny of the societies since we are knowing the fact that developing the status that we people are going to shape the destiny of the societies so those kind of things which make the peoples to start the nationalism movements in european society already my dear children i have told you that when peoples developing their status they thought that they need to question the powers of the monarchy and here the ruler is not going to rule the societies and who are going to be ruler of the society it is the peoples and because of all these factors as we see that these nationalism movements which was emerged in european countries because of all these factors the rising of the middle classes the rising of the rev revolutionaries all these factors which prompt them which make them inspiring to start the nationalism movements in european country thank you so much my dear children